Hi, this is Josh Marshall from TPM Media. This is TPM TV's last week at the Veracifier channel here at YouTube. Next week we're moving to our own TPM TV YouTube channel. So if you want to keep seeing our daily episodes, stop by TPM TV, that's youtube.com slash TPM TV right here and subscribe today. Joining us right now is someone we love talking to, and he is uh, one of the two most popular people in the country. Senator John McCain joining us. Steve, how's your boy doing? He's doing well. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm sure if he were here, he would have an embarrassing question or two to ask you. But he's busy. <laughs> but no doubt it would make the senator laugh. It's live TV in the morning for you, huh? Senator McCain, all morning we've been showing some of the pork. Uh, through tax extenders that was put into this bill last night. Tax breaks for Puerto Rican and Virgin Island rum producers, auto racing tracks, wool research, kids' wooden arrows, six million dollars. That's just the way the system is working in Washington and the reason why it's got to be fixed and it's got to be changed. And no matter what the stakes are, you've got to stop this by starting to veto bills that come across the president's desk. They can't help themselves. And if you like some of those pork barrel projects, look at some of the ones that Senator Obama has, has proposed. It's insanity. It's insanity and it's obscenity. This bailout thing passed by the Senate last night. You voted, yep. Given especially what you've been just saying on our broadcast right now, why then didn't you vote against a bill that is corrupting and stand up to pork and all this spending during an economic crisis that some say this puts this country on the brink of, of economic disaster? Because of what you just said, Mika, that uh, this bill is putting us on the brink of economic disaster. I want to ask you first of all about you suspending your campaign to try to get this bill through the House. It didn't make it the first time. Did it hurt? We got, we'll, we'll get it passed. Uh, I came back and suspended my campaign and uh, uh, got the House on, on into the negotiations at the table. I suspended my campaign, came back to Washington, very helpful in getting the House Republicans at the table. Suspending my campaign, back to Washington, Republicans at the table. You came to Washington, you took action, you suspended your campaign. Some of your critics said that perhaps it was a stunt or perhaps that inserting presidential <laughs> politics gummed up the works. I think, look at what happened. <laughs> it's the best way to, to, to answer that. Right now, a recent study shows, and the polls reflect it, that Barack Obama's gaining ever since since this crisis landed on everyone's kitchen table. Why is that? Because life isn't fair. <laughs> <laughs> you, just, you, you feel as though, you feel uh, as though he's been answer. missing? He certainly did nothing in the first few days. And uh, as you know, I suspended my campaign, took our ads yeah. down, came back to, to Washington and met with the House folks and got on the phones. Senator Obama said he would phone it in. Senator Obama uh, phoned it in. Obama phoned it in. I didn't decide to stay on the trail and call in. That's the difference. I suspended my campaign and put my country first. Put your country first. I will always put my country first. Some uh, critics and, and actually proponents of you this week have said, look, John McCain has to go back on the attack against Senator Barack Obama. You're down in the polls. You have to attack. I know it's not within your nature, but will you? The past two weeks have not been very good for you. A new time CNN group of polls from battleground states show you losing ground in Florida, Minnesota, Missouri, Nevada, Virginia. Uh, look, uh, we're doing fine. We were up in the polls and then we were down the polls yep. and we were up in the polls and down the <laughs> polls. You know, we're, we can't worry about the day-to-day -day tick tock, but I, I think we're doing fine. I'm very happy with where we are. What's happened over the past two weeks? You have been dropping in just about every poll. These are temporary things. I'm happy with where I am. I'm happy with where we're going. We're the underdog. I love being the underdog. I always love being the underdog. We're going to be just fine starting tonight with Sarah Palin's uh, performance. Right now, there's been a lot of, I guess, questions being, being thrown around about your, uh, about your pick, especially after her being unable to answer uh, in an interview with Katie Couric what other Supreme Court decisions besides Roe versus Wade that she does not support. Do you think that was a fair question to ask the vice presidential nominee? I know that there have been attacks on uh, Sarah Palin that uh, have been remarkable to, me, remarkable to me in many ways. Sarah has not done very well. The criticism and the attacks have been unprecedented. Frankly, uh, 
a lot of the things that have been the gotcha questions are a little irritating from time to time. I mean, a lot of the, you know, Sarah Palin is in a pizza parlor, someone yells something at her and she kind of shouts back, ah, did you see what Sarah Palin said? I, please, you know, it, it gets a little tiresome. But the American people, when they, the more they see of her, the more they love her. I have total confidence in her. She's very comfortable in her own skin. She's had more experience in leadership than Senator Obama and Senator Biden put together. More experience, executive experience, than Joe Biden and Barack Obama <laughs> combined. Look, instead of asking about the trivia questions, let's look at her record. It's mm -hmm. phenomenal. We let Sarah be Sarah. You got to hope that uh, his handlers let Joe be Joe because he is quite gaff prone. Joe's Joe. You know, I, I really don't. I think that Sarah Palin knows that Franklin Delano Roosevelt didn't talk to the American people over television. <laughs> I mean, uh, <laughs> he was on the internet, uh, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Cockamamie. There's been a lot of debate, yeah. speaking of the debate, in the last 24 hours about the moderator, Gwen Ifill, and the fact that she's releasing this yeah. book on Inauguration Day that is a lot about Barack Obama. I know you've gone on record yesterday as saying that you don't really have a problem with this, that you think she'll be fair. Oh, uh, listen, frankly, I wish that they had picked a moderator that isn't, that isn't writing a book favorable to <laughs> Barack Obama. I would imagine that there's other people out there who aren't writing a book that's going to be on Inauguration Day favorable to uh, Senator Obama, but that's life. Look, uh, we, life isn't fair, as yeah. I mentioned earlier right. in our program.